everyone, we are Geeks Not Nerds. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm Vince. And I'm Sarah. Sarah is guesting with us this week to talk about a topic of epic proportions. Today we're going to be talking about the Marvel film universe and whether or not we uh, are happy with the fact that there is a Marvel film universe. Now, uh, we've known for a while, of course, that there is a Marvel film universe because it's already like partially established now, you know, yes. with Iron Man and then with the Incredible Hulk and now with Iron Man 2. Uh, but uh, as we are getting closer to the Avengers, we're learning new things about uh, what this is ultimately all going to um, culminate into. And um, our, uh, the question today is, are we happier or less happier about it now that we know more things? Vince, start us off. Nope. <laughs> Not happy about it. I don't like the idea of a continuity in film. Now, how come? I mean, because... Personally, you mean just in, in general? In, in general. I don't like the idea of having... Okay, I will say this. A continuity in film can exist to a small extent. I don't care if there's connections. I've heard that there's connections between... Well, obviously there's Aliens, and there's Predator, and there's Die Hard, and then there's Commando, or something like this. This all happens in the same universe somehow via some sort Die of... Die Hard, Commando, Aliens, and Predator are all in the same continuity. I, was just I just threw out those last two for fun, but wow, the, there was some movie that I never expected that. to be connected to. Sorry, I just can't get there. Like, like John McClane... I, like fight it's not Die Hard, whatever. I'm Sounds just making awesome. <laughs> I want to see that. That'd be sweet, though. Yes. And, and uh, what's his name from Harry Potter? That guy. Snake. Snake. The guy that played Snake. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, Alan Rickman. Alan Rickman. Yeah, right. He can be an alien. <laughs> you can be an alien with yes. a bad German accent. <laughs> <laughs> no, for real. I am British. <laughs> I'm in German. I mean, what am I again? I'm a terrorist. <laughs> yes. <laughs> But I don't care if there's like small connections where they have references to these towns or references to some corporation right. or an alien being. I don't care. What I do care about is when those plot lines all converge and therefore those movies are intricately, intricately related to those other movies. Mm -hmm. Because then we're devoting screen time, precious screen time, because you really have an hour and a half to two hours to tell a complete story, develop all your characters, and do something interesting. And uh, You're not making a pilot for a TV show. Yeah. You don't, you're not trying to set up Avengers or Justice League or Teen Titans in your Batman, uh, Captain America, or Robin movie. Whatever. Do those. Um, you, you, you do still remember the difference between DC and Marvel, right? Just to make, make it sure. Yeah, I know. That's why I said one from each team. I just didn't say them in order. I'm just joking. You mean they're not doing a mega universe or anything like that? <laughs> it's not going to be DC versus Marvel to move in? Oh, no. They should totally do that. They should totally amalgam the movie. Because so the Avengers movie and well. Justice League movies are going to have scenes setting up the amalgam universe? Yeah, of course. There yeah. you go. Yeah. Devoting precious screen time. Yeah. Um, yeah. And that's justifiable. No. <laughs> Vince, do you think, uh, Vince and Sarah, do you think that it's kind of gimmicky? Uh, yeah, I mean, is that kind of what we're getting at? so. And I think it's a bad gimmick, because I always see these scenes in these movies, and it's setting up Avengers, for example. And I'm like, why is that in there? I don't care right now. I haven't seen Avengers. I'm looking forward to Avengers because it has the Avengers in it. I got an interesting comment. Not because it is setting up its own continuity with all these other shows. And, and forgive me for this, because I can't remember who, who left this comment, but I got an interesting comment after I did my um, Iron Man uh, Superior Rewind, uh, where somebody said, I, I, I really enjoy the fact that you just talked about the storyline of the movie and didn't talk about the setup for Avengers. Yeah. Uh, right. And we're not the only per people, I, I, I guess, that, that, um, that are kind of uh, annoyed by this. Because, because, once again, like here's what I think. I think that if... Uh, they did all these movies, and we knew that it was culminating to Avengers, but they weren't um, drawing so much attention to themselves. Mm -hmm. And then we had the Avengers movie, and it was all these actors that were in this, and, and, and then it all culminates. I think that would be made of fantastic. I'd love that. But, yeah. the, but, but the fact that um, we have to keep doing this kind of wink, wink, nod, nod to the audience thing, where it's like, okay, yeah, we're, we're doing Avengers, it's going to happen. It's almost as if they're afraid that we won't go to the theater unless they keep reminding us that it's happening. Well, and by the time it comes out, we're going to be sick of it. I mean... Uh, the Avengers movie has been in the public consciousness now for a couple of years, couple of years mm -hmm. and I'm already sick of the Avengers. No, I think, you know, we have that reaction, because I, I do agree, I am sick of it, but that's because I have this passionate hatred. And not for the Avengers, for movie continuities. But, uh, he has this passionate hatred for movies, it's kind of really... I have this passionate hatred that's why for uh, Bluebirds, 
and hummingbirds. I just can't stand them. And, and cattle, to be frank. Uh, and, and you know, guys, I heard there's a good chance that there's going to be both bluebirds and cattle in the Avengers. So. No! <laughs> yeah. And then Hummingbird the movie is coming. But, uh, see, I don't think that people would necessarily get sick of it. I think people love... Uh, even viral marketing, all of this stuff, they love these little nuggets being thrown at them all the time. Mm -hmm. This whole fanboyishness of, oh my god, oh my god, I saw Thor's hammer. Yeah, the thing is, that's okay. Oh, Some yeah. of that is fun. Uh, viral cool. marketing is fun. This is nothing against that. Uh, the, the Thor's hammer thing at the end of Iron Man 2, that was cool, okay? Mm -hmm. um, the, the thing with uh, with Nick Fury appearing at the end of at the end of the first Iron Man movie at, at, after the credits, that was cool, okay? But what? it wasn't in the movie. It wasn't uh, it wasn't in, in, in the movie, you know what I mean? It was after the credits. Um, it's tapped on. It's yeah, yeah, it's tapped on. You don't need it. And that's um, why it's an Easter egg. It's not Iron know, Man 2, part yeah. Of the movie. And that's fun. That's fan service. That's the kind of fan service I enjoy, where I'm going, oh you guys, you made that for me. You did that for me. That's so neat. Uh, or whatever, it's really embedded so that the general audience won't know what's happening. But but those of us that know this stuff, we go, oh, th thank you, thank you. You did that for us. You know that makes that that makes uh, that makes the filmmakers really neat when they give us a little nugget, right? But what we saw in Iron Man Two wasn't nuggets, guys. Yeah, that was part of the story. I mean, Nick Fury. Too Nick much Fury should it. get his own freaking movie. See, I wish Maybe they didn't say freaking on the. Sure. That's okay. I, I think that they should do it. I, I wish they did a Nick Fury movie um, instead of... And, and it would be okay for him to pop in here and there, but not to go, Hello, you're going to be in the Avengers. You know what yeah. I mean? Just like, he's part of the movie. You know what I mean? Like, like, like come up with a good reason that Nick Fury has to come in and, um, and uh, you know, like Nick Fury's got to help Iron Man, you know, fight Whiplash or something, you know, with, with, with his, uh, you know, with, with his S.H.I.E.L.D. agents or whatever. Yeah. Or maybe when Nick Fury was young, he fought with Captain America. I don't know. Because there's continuities where he did. Moving on. So, um, Fox is, it sounds like, maybe going to follow suit with this. Uh, I've heard that Fox is wanting to start their own Marvel movie continuity with the few franchises they own. And um, I, I heard this on um, Eric and uh, Duke's new show. Uh, I, I watch their comic news, and so I don't know exactly what their source was. But um, so anyway, that's my source, just so you know. But like I, but like I, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you know. I'm sure they did their homework. Um, what? <laughs> oh, it just struck me funny. Well, no, no, no. It's just, I like to, I like to source myself, and you know, I, I don't really know what their source was. Anyway, um, if that's actually happening, though, that is so silly. It, it's, it, it's, it, it's so obvious that they're worried that Marvel's getting a, you know, monopoly on Marvel characters. <laughs> uh, and you know, Marvel, uh, Marvel Studios, they still have the rights to the ones that they can feasibly do this with. You know what I mean? They've got Captain America, they've got all the Avengers, you know, they can they can do all these separate movies. And then, what does Fox have? They have Fantastic Four, they have Daredevil, and they have X-Men. So we're going to have an X-Men, because they're going to, like, you know, reboot both Daredevil and Fantastic Four. So now we're going to have, like, an X-Men, Fantastic Four, Daredevil continuity, I guess. Coming in the summer of 2400, because that's a long ways away. Yeah. Is uh, the Fantastic X-Devil. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I mean, who knows what what exactly is going to happen with this? And don't you find it funky that if they put all their eggs in one basket, if they put all the franchises they ha they own um, in this continuity, that wouldn't that put the Fantastic Four and Daredevil reboots in an already established continuity that goes all the way back to two thousand? And wouldn't that be just way too many characters? At that point, because X Men has a problem with too many characters on, on screen. Itself. Now, are these people really planning on making a movie where they all cross over? I don't know. I don't know that. Because I, I get the feeling that saying. what they're going to do is, all right, now maybe I'm wrong about this, but I heard that in Spider-Man 2, the Punisher appeared just walking through screen. It was just Thomas Jane walking by. Oh, I didn't see that. And uh, I know where it is. I know who they're saying it looks like. I'll show it to you sometime. And it kind of does look like Thomas Jane. Yeah, I didn't. But, uh, I don't remember that. Okay. Now, if that's all they're doing, just putting little things in the movies where like, oh, okay, I... That's where they are. I sure. see them there. I don't care. That's fine. But if suddenly, if suddenly Daredevil pops up in the Fantastic Four reboot, I'm going to get irritated. See, what I liked was uh, before people were talking about a Marvel continuity in films, where you could just kind of try to guess how these would all line up, and you go, well. 
we know there's such thing as a Marvel Universe. There's all these different things that are crossing into each other, but they could all, it's all in New York, they could all feasibly be in the same universe. I like that. That was okay. And, I mean, you know, Spider-Man 2 um, had that one line where J. Jonah Jameson wanted to call um, Dr. Octopus Dr. Strange, but then he was like, oh, it's taken? Like, that was clever. That was funny. That means there's a Dr. Strange in that universe, apparently. You know what I mean? Like, that's, you know, that's funny, unless J. Jonah Jameson read a Dr. Strange comic. <laughs> Movie continuities. I don't like them. It bothers me. Yeah. It seems like movies are getting closer to TV, and TVs are getting closer to film. I don't know. That's interesting. You know, I mean, you've got all these big, big budget looking TV shows going with one big mega continuity. Which is okay. Like 24, one season of 24 is like one giant movie. Mm -hmm. That would need like 12 intermissions. Yeah. <laughs> Unless you're, there, you're you. You can do it in 24. No, I took a 15 minute, minute intermission every hour. Oh, okay. On the <laughs> hour, who to thunk? Now you, have, now you have all these movies that you need to go and see all of them because they're in the same continuity. You know, a, a Thor trailer from Comic Con got leaked. I don't know if you saw it. No. Um, I got to see it. Uh, it's, it's harder to find now, but I think there's still some places that you can that you can locate it. Um, anyway, there was there was a long Thor trailer. It looks really great, but it's got a lot of shield in it. Uh, the the guy. Um, that's that's in uh, uh, both Iron Man movies, the uh, what Agent Coulson or whatever his name is. Um, he's all over it. He's like a big deal in it. That sucks. <laughs> I mean, oh, it man. might be it might be cool. I mean, again, as long as they're not setting up too much for Avengers, I would be okay if Shield was a big part of the Thor movie. That might be a, that might be okay. I was kind of hoping it would all take place in Asgard. See, I kind of was too. But if the story's I mean, that's, good, that's the whole reason why I was excited for Kenneth Branagh to be directing because I yeah. wanted. Now, oh, granted. It looks like there's still going to be a, a number, I mean, a, a good amount of Asgard stuff, though, so. Having seen Mary Shelley's Frankenstein, I started re rethinking whether or not I like Kenneth Branagh as oh, a director. Oh, did you direct that? Yeah. Well, uh, I'm pretty there will be a forthcoming okay. uh, superhero, or, uh, horror movie rewind on that, and you'll get to see what Vince thinks about that. Soon. Thanks for being on with us. Anytime. And uh, if you have something you'd like us to do in the future, leave that in the comments below. And uh, I'm Captain Logan. I'm Vince. And I'm Sarah. And leave us a comment. Let us know what you think about this.